Part two? Part two. Uh, alrighty, I'm Adam Andrews. And I'm Big Shetty. And as per your request, here is the top 10 ancient sites you never knew existed. Number 10, Crater Lake. Yes, that's right, Crater Lake. I actually didn't know anything about this place before looking at a picture of it, and well, I, I just couldn't resist. It looks really cool. It looks like Lake Verity from Pokemon. Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? In reality, it's one of the deepest lakes found in the United States and was created by a nearby volcano that erupted over 7,000 years ago. It was powerful and it collapsed and shaped the ground around it. Many different rocks and minerals can be found in the area, making it a geologist's sandbox. For me, I think it's a great place to practice poetry. Yes, that's right ladies and gentlemen, I do it all. Here's my haiku for Crater Lake. Deep water mountain, a memory of time past, Central Oregon. Number 9, Abu Simbel Temple. The Abu Simbel Temple is kind of misleading in terms of names, considering it's actually two temples. The temples were built during the reign of King Ramses II because of course it was. One of them is actually a temple dedicated to one of his wives, Nefertari. Hey babe, I built the whole temple so people can worship you as much as I do. <laughs> Oh, also, I built another bigger, more impressive temple that's dedicated to me because I love you, but I'm clearly much better than you, <laughs> Pharaoh life. These massive temples were meant to display the strength and power of the rulers of Egypt, and I feel like it did just that, while also boosting up the ego of this incredibly successful and powerful Pharaoh. Number eight, Lake Retba. Water, it's important. So before I start, I'm gonna remind everyone to go drink some. For real, you'll feel better. There you go, you see? If you're like me, then you love water. I love drinking it. I love swimming in it. Heck, one day, I'd love to see the clear waters of the Caribbean. I've never been. Now, whether or not you like it or not, we can all agree that water is blue, right? Even Adam agrees. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, see? What if I told you there's a pink lake? What? I know, Lake Retba, Lake Retba of Senegal is such a body of water. I can imagine the confusion of coming across this lake and seeing the nearby ocean, which is blue, and then the Lake Retpa, which is pink. You do a double take. I know I would. Why so pink? Not because of your embarrassment, because your uncle said something insensitive at the Thanksgiving dinner table. No, but because of a high concentration of salt and algae. 40% salt in some places, actually. Strangely enough, some small fish can be found living in the less salty parts. Sometimes nature is wild. I didn't know that one. I learned something today. Number seven, Bagan. You may have at least seen this one before because the pictures of this place are absolutely stunning. Not to mention, the area is massive. The 2,200 peaked dome temples that make up this ancient 9th to 13th century capital city of Pagan is one of the best and richest archaeological sites in all of Asia. But because of its modern day location in the rogue state of Myanmar, makes it fly under quite a few people's radars. The Kingdom of Pagan was one of the first to unify the area, making this site a big deal as well as totally stunning. If you do go or have gone here, what do you think? Apparently, almost every single temple is unique, and you can go inside almost all of them. Andrew, travel show? Number six, Mato Tapia. The Devil's Tower, that's a much better name, easier for me to pronounce. Here's another one that I didn't know, or, well, I didn't know, I don't really know much either, to be honest. Plus, more geology, and rocks are just cool. We love rocks. Located near Crook County, Wyoming. Usually found in cowboy country, which gives me an excuse to use this voice, back in the shaft west, but not exclusive to it. Devil's Tower was the first national monument declared by cowboy rough rider himself, Theodore Roosevelt. The name most likely came from a mistranslation. The rock itself actually stands around 5,000 foot, and it is not a place you'd want to be stuck, as buttes, as it's so called, like this, are more like pillars than mountains. They have a steep drop off. To me, it looks like someone got a little too crazy with a train editor in SimCity 4, but that's just me. I don't know. Number 5, Incaliita. Incas! Bet you thought of Peru. Well, joke's on you, we're going to Bolivia for this ancient Inca site. Incaliita is a 67 hectare site believed to be used as an area to perform rites for the ceremonial calendar. It's got quite a few buildings that are pretty important, like the Kalanka, which is the largest single roofed room in the Western Hemisphere when it was built. Ooh, ah. Incaliita actually also had a whole opera created in honor of it, which was the first opera ever created in Bolivia in 1980. My dream is to one day also have an opera made in my honor. It will be called The Ballad of the Boy Who Had to Sniff the Farts of a Blue-Eyed Blonde Menace. 
Number 4. Vikings in Canada? Some of you might know about this one, but I'm going with it because it's so cool. Many, many, many years ago, before the first European showed up in North America, the Norsemen had already made their journey across the ocean. They even made a small settlement in Newfoundland. Oi, that's where it goes, everybody. Proof Old Leaf Erickson and their settlement still reside there today. Pretty cool. It's lasted this long, to be honest. So, what went wrong? I mean, come on, Canadians, we're so nice, right? Not like we just fart on command or anything. Well, for starters, it wasn't Canada. It wasn't anything. The most common explanation is that they didn't really get along with the Aboriginal tribes of the area, or the ones that already inhabited the so-called Vinland, as they called it. The Vikings were not exactly the bloodthirsty barbarians some of history makes them out to be, but, well, they did do their fair share of Nazi things. They did do some things that went very nice. So, you can kind of see how that went south. Just imagine how different our history would be if they succeeded in more settlements here. Number three, Unakoti and Tripura. You know when you've got to go to the airport to go on vacation with your dad and he makes everyone wake up too early and get super mad and super stressed? That's basically what happened in the Hindu myth when Lord Shiva stayed overnight here while on his way to Kashi. Accompanying him were 9,999,999 gods and goddesses who Shiva asked to wake up before sunrise to continue their journey. Just like your dad, when the gods and goddesses didn't wake up, Shiva cursed them. But unlike your dad, he turned them to stone with his curse. And that's how we got Unakoti, which translates to one less Akoti, or one less of 10 million. But no, you won't find one less than 10 million stone carvings here. You will find a whole heck of a lot though. The area surrounding this 7th or 9th century ancient site is gorgeous, with natural waterfalls, lush forests, and a 30 foot high rock cut Shiva carving. So wait, if Shiva is here, who was the one less than 10 million? Number 2. Accra Today you don't hear much about the city in the sand by the Mediterranean. A city with so much history I couldn't possibly unpack it all. Kind of like when you move and there's still four boxes staring you in the face. I'm gonna unpack them mom, I swear. The city has gone under numerous power changes and faced much turmoil. However, the most important part of its history would be the Knights Templar. During the Crusades, this was a hotbed of holy war and all the fun and so not misery that that brings. Archaeologists unearthed many Templar secrets including churches, cathedrals, water reservoirs, underground bunkers, and a network of tunnels. Knights in chainmail having big old sword fights in castles. You can't go wrong. Oh, and don't forget the gold. There's lots of uh, Templar gold to dig up too. Boy, what would I do to get my hands on some Templar gold? Damn. Number one, Chand Bowery. What's that? It's a well. That's a little excessive. Indeed it is, but it's still incredibly cool, and I guarantee you haven't heard of it. If you have, well I'm sure I'll hear about it at least five times in the comments. Chand Bowery is a 13 story well built between 800 and 900 AD. What's so special about this well? Well, it's beautiful for starters. And just look at it. Secondly, it's also made out of volcanic porous stones. And thirdly, it's five to six degrees cooler than the outside atmosphere because of those stones, which makes it ideal for how freaking hot it is in Rajasthan. As well as go, this one is extra elaborate. I mean, I just, I just want some water, man. That's gonna wrap it up for us today, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe here at Bumblebee. Yes, and if you too wish to go on a holy crusade with two exquisite gentlemen, then check out our social somewhere down below. Down there. I've been one of your hosts, Big Chetty. I've been the second host, Adam Andrews. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye. Just stay sweet, honeybees. Bye. You learned today that nature is wild? I did. Kind of oh, right. kind of do I nature, nature wild, like kind of go much? together like that. Go much, you gotta like stop it. doing that. <laughs> yeah. But I can suck a bowling ball through a straw. What are you talking about? Oh, we're recording. <laughs> 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 he spent like 10 minutes being like, I, I uh, and I was like, I was like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm making a haiku. <laughs> <laughs> Why so pink? Why so serious? Why so pink? Hey, babe, I built a whole temple so people can worship you as much as I do. <laughs> Where am I? There I am. Just like, are you still farting? I can't tell. <laughs> I'm laughing, bro. Sorry. That's basically what happened in the Hindu myth. It's just like the disappointment, just like. I wish Hannah would have came in. Yeah, I wish she came in for that one. Oh my god. I think you just started again, did you? I'm, I'm just, it's just in my brain now. And I feel like it did just like that. Did just like that. What?